You know, I'm really happy that you included that question because one of the reasons that we started this, this project, this project is unfunded. So we don't have any official funding for this project. Yet we took up this project because, you know, uh, I started my career 18 years back and uh, I started with breast cancer. And today breast cancer is much far ahead, much better cancer considered as a better cancer than pancreatic cancer. So as cancer biologists, we, we want to take up the toughest challenge, okay? And there's perhaps few other challenges that are as great as, uh, as pancreatic cancer. Uh, first of all, it's a bad cancer. Like, you know, some cancers are just bad. For example, skin cancer is much easier to deal with than pancreatic cancer. So some can, so not all cancers are the same and some cancers are worse than the others. But pancreatic cancer is particularly bad, you know, and there are several reasons for it. Uh, and, you know, I'll try to cover a few. Uh, so the first one is that, you know, the limited early detection. If you see all the cancers that have a good outcome these days, uh, most of them have an early detection method. That is not true for a pancreatic cancer. You know, by the time we can detect pancreatic cancer, the cancer has already advanced and metastasized. And it is pretty much at a kind of an advanced stage. So it becomes difficult to treat because, you know, it's all over the body. <clears throat> metastasis perhaps is the, most, is the most important aspect of pancreatic cancer because that's what it, uh, you know, we, we die because of metastasis in general in can, cancer. But uh, pancreatic, in pancreatic cancer, metastasis is very, very high. It's because we detect so late. Also, the cancer is very metastatic. And there are uh, other, uh, other uh, uh, challenges. Uh, one is like, you know, uh, uh, it's because of the nature of the cancer, it has so much of dense, what you call stroma, uh, it is very difficult to put in the drug. It's very hypovascular. So the blood vessels don't form within the tumors. So it's very difficult to deliver the drugs. So, you know, that's another challenge that we have to deliver the drugs in, in, in this uh, cancer. Uh, but the, in terms of biology of the cancer, it's uh, particularly challenging because of the, what we call the hypovascular, sorry, uh, hypoxic nature of the cancer. So the, what we mean that, you know, the cancer is devoid of oxygen. So it's very low in oxygen and it's generally accepted that low amount of oxygen or lack of oxygen activates some very specific kind of genes that drives metastasis. So, you know, what we understand that uh, what the way we started uh, to uh, look at this project that can we uh, look at the genes that are activated during the, this hypoxic environment in pancreatic cancer and uh, uh, understand something out of it and th then we develop some drugs that can disrupt their activity and hopefully stop the tumors from growing that's what we had in mind 